everybody. Welcome back. Tiny boat fishing. We got a little update here. Uh, there's my able-bodied camera woman going to assist here. Updating, meaning we got some parts in for the boat hauler, boat puller. If you remember a couple of videos ago, you, a deer smacked us. And uh, so far we've got the headlight assembly, or the headlight, and the mounting thing that goes all the way across the front and mounts both headlights. Uh, we got the headlight a day or two ago, and this came tonight. The header board, I believe they call it. I got a knife here. No. But, you know, that arrived okay. This arrived like this, just like this. Ew. Let's kind of look in there a little bit. But that's the way it come off the FedEx truck. I'm sorry, that's the way it come off the delivery truck, just like that. Mm -hmm. Part of that top open. Uh, there is a lid in there. And I'm gonna guess that it just collapsed inwards. So, yeah, the tape turned loose and it collapsed inwards. So if she'll get over there for scale like she did there and show you what size this thing is. You want to reach over there again, dear. Just move eagle eyes there. Just, just for the sake of the size, as far as she can reach end to end. So we're going to open these now. And, all right. There comes my able-bodied camera woman. Today is December the 1st, isn't it? Mm-hmm. This is just following up to the boat puller because, like I said, you know, we showed where we got smacked by the deer. Impressive. We have directions. Let's see these directions. Of course, Chinese is in front. One. Take, take off four brackets as shown. That must be them. Two. Follow directions of two. Install the cover to the light. Where's two? Okay, we got that. Nice yeah, rubber covers. Nothing on the back. Hmm. Good thing I'm smart and don't need directions Good with thing. this, ain't it? So here we go. <laughs> Good thing. That's not a hard thing. Styrofoam. Spacer. New light assembly with the headlight bulbs in it, high and low beam. Yay. It's got a protective cover on it. We'll leave that on there till we're in place. The one inserts the turn signal and the park light up here, running light, whatever you want to call it. Okay, there's the brackets you need to remove. Those. Like I said, pretty obvious. I'm glad I'm smart, because I'm not, well, I am kind of bilingual with another language. And here's the rubber things that seal it up, weather seal it. So I'm going to put that back for the moment. Got directions. And those valuable directions. <laughs> valuable directions. You never get this in the way it come out. You know that. That's why she handed it to me. Don't that's destroy do. it. Have that's, plans. That's what you do with that. Okay, let's tackle this thing since it arrived open. Like I said, that's, that's the way it came off the truck. I followed the truck in and met it outside. I've seen, seen him unpacking it. And, and uh, I carried it in. So let's see what we got going on here. I don't know that there's any loose parts to get lost. I wouldn't 
tank, and I hope not. Whew, getting a little warm in here. I hate this weather. It's cold and it's hot. You don't know how to dress. You don't know how to set a thermostat. Besides, that nice. Just printing on the paper. Header board, they call it. That's an odd There are parts. I see four of them in there. Those tabs pushed down. Sorry about the lighting, everybody. We'll look at this small stuff in the kitchen. I want to make sure that this is not broken. <clears throat> All right. Now this, in our infinite wisdom, goes all the way across the front. The headlights mount here. The sliders, attachment sliders, whatever you call it, there, and I believe there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six attachment points across the bottom. Some across the top. And instead of having one frame for each headlight, you have to take the grill, both headlight buckets out, and reattach this. The deer, and by the way, I got my buck this year with the Trailblazer. We're in deer season now, and I've showed a bunch of them up so far. Instead of just one, the, uh, this one that got broke, crushed, you have to redo the whole thing. If you remember, one of our viewers and subscribers sent some assistance to get this fixed, and we certainly appreciate that. And we're going to get on this, but here is the header board. Fortunately, I don't know how to lay that. There we go. Let's go that way. Fortunately, um, the attachment things might go here. I can't remember. But anyway, we'll see that when we do that video. So if she'll follow me in here, we'll look at these. Make sure they are all here. Three. Okay, four. Let's put together. These slide down, lock them in place. And supposedly, allegedly, everything's pre-adjusted. Uh, once everything is bolted up, screwed down tight and attached, these are the headlights are pre-adjusted. That remains to be seen. Um, I mm. never believe that stuff until I see it. So once we get this attached, we're going to pull up to one of these buildings and at, at night and just look at the, compare the angle. But then again, really, they're both going to be off with a new header board, so I will see. But anyway, here, here it is, headlight and header board. Let's see if there's anything else in there. Let's see if they surprise me with something. Well, absolutely not, and if they did, you know, thing, it was open, so. I can see where the tape was almost stuck there. Huh. And it's just pushed in. Tickled to death, it came not broken. And these tabs it was there. Two, three, six, that, that had me concerned, but like I said, how we showed it there is how it arrived. And, um. Uh, But there it is. Now, anybody need a big box? Uh -huh. A big box? <laughs> Abby does. You you can you can stash your body in there. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> anyway, and again, sorry about the lighting, folks. We're you know why they don't make places with an overhead ceiling light. I'll never know. If I ever custom build, every room is going to have an overhead ceiling light. When I want light, I want light. You know, all these lamps on switches and stuff is is just, nah. It's supposed to be comfortable and everything, but no. Nah. There's times you want light in every room. 
So, with that, there's an update. Now the next uh, next step is tear into it and start replacing. I haven't ordered or got a fender yet. And you'll see this in the next video when I start replacing. Behind here, where this would go, dear, if you'd hold this up for me a minute. Uh, behind where this would go, where's that lighting again, Gemini? You know, there's some metal that the fender attaches to. I'm going to tear into there and make sure none of that inner metal is messed up and needs repairs and make sure that everything is okay for the new fender to attach to. Excuse me, and I'm not going to know that till I tear completely into it and see. So, um, you know, I might have to get something or repair something there before I attach the new fender. Otherwise, in the meantime, this is a good start. I got my headlights. You know, that we need that blazer every day. We drive it every day. You know, we go and pick the baby up, well, the baby, from school every day. We have commitments. We're going to be out of town this weekend on business. So, uh, but here's a good start. Anyway, just an update, folks. The boat polar repairs are underway. Good bright headlight. Now, that'll drive me crazy. I'll order another one for the other side to be that clear and bright because we're getting that sulfate look on those clear lenses. And all that plastic, you know, that starts hazing and crazing and everything. But uh, here's step one. The stuff is in. I can start just as soon as I can get a clear few hours with it. So stay with us, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll be back. But the boat puller is it's scheduled. Scheduled for repairs. Okay, everybody. Just a quick update here on the tiny boat thing. This is kind of relevant, but I'm not going to reveal any secrets. And I figured out the light on the camera here, on the phone. How to get it to operate with video. So, <laughs> anyway, we've started the Christmas shopping. Do what? We started the Christmas thing. Now these, three packs of, or three packs, three each gift bags. Um, on all of them, silver, red, and blue. Um, candy canes for the Christmas tree and, and little bitty bows to go on these gift bags. Now these are going to be appropriate, you'll see here before long, but not tonight what's going to go in these. And the reason I can't do it tonight is one of the ones that's going to receive this watches this channel. And it's granddaughter Abby up there. She watches this channel because she likes to watch herself fish. I can't give it away. What's in there? Not at this time. But yeah, she likes to watch herself fish. So she does peruse the channel from time to time. So we have a couple of stockings for the grandkids here. Got two of them. That's for the youngest one and that's for Abby. And like I've said in previous videos, she gets serious about her fishing. Uh, uh, blazer light there for the moment but she gets serious about her fishing but keep an eye on these things you know as soon as, as soon as it comes about it'll be channel appropriate uh, you might be able to guess but I can't give it away just yet we're just still too far out for her to flip around and accidentally stumble over it but this there's going to be some tiny boat fishing Christmas stuff going on here also.